two things since I've been gone. I invested in an air conditioner and I also got a big new bed. But today, since you guys really like the trans videos, I wanted to bring something to you that I had a lot of difficulties with while I was transitioning. So as you know, I transitioned at the age of 16, which is 11th grade. Where I live, 9th to 12th grade is high school. And I transitioned in the middle of high school and it really sucked. Let's just say grades 9 and 10, I already knew that I was trans and all that stuff. I already knew it. Like, I had to come to terms with myself. And 9th and 10th grade were kind of a blur. I went to a trade school. It was called an agricultural school. And it was not in my town. I tried to get as far away from my town as I could because I just, I hated everybody. In 10th grade, I knew that I was going to transition. And I transitioned in the summer of 2012. I got my hair cut in July 2012. Um, I started going by everything. Boy, he... Him, Sam, all that stuff. So this is where hell begins. I had to go back to school. I didn't know what to do because I just didn't want anyone to know that I was trans. I was like, okay, I can't go back to my other school because everyone knew me and I didn't have many options because if I didn't go to that school, I'd have to go to the school in my town. And all these kids knew me from middle school and preschool and stuff like that. Cause you know when you grow up in the town and you guys all go to the same school in your town? Yeah. I had to go back to the school in my town where everybody knew me from middle school. So summer 2012 is coming to an end. School is beginning to start up again. And I decide, okay, fine. I'm gonna go to my town's high school. I'm just gonna do it, see what happens. Maybe they won't know. I'm a whole different name, I have a haircut. They haven't seen me in three years. Maybe it'll be okay. No, it, it wasn't, it wasn't. First things first, before the school year even starts, my mom has to go to the school and you know, tell them, hey, my son is trans. Could you please have him called by this name? Have him as he? Because none of my things were male or had my name on it yet. I haven't changed all the legal stuff yet. So it still said my old girl name. So we had to go say, hey, can you just put this on the ID and on everything, you know? So it wouldn't be confusing if someone said a girl's name and then I would be like, that's me. When my mom went up there to do that, the principal was an absolute piece of shit. I hate you, I hope you're watching this. No, we had to put the birth name on, but we could put like a new picture on the ID. He was just extremely rude about it. And then they found out that I made YouTube videos and they said that if I'm trans, I shouldn't be doing that if I don't want people to know that I'm trans. It was very, like, this is probably the worst school you could ever go to. And then eventually my mom, you know, Things came to terms and I did get my name on it. I did get the correct name on it, Sam Collins. Finally, after a really hard process, we got all that done. So, first day of school, I'm super, super nervous. Don't know if anyone's gonna remember me. And guess what? <laughs> just, just a guess, take a guess in the dark. <laughs> they remembered you. Yup, they did, and it was very bad. <laughs> Honestly, not that many people knew. They low-key knew, but they didn't say anything. So what happened was, and a lot of people might be saying, Sam, why didn't you just tell them who you were and that you're trans? Because at this point in time in my transition, I didn't want anybody to know. I think everyone comes to a point in their transition where they don't want anyone to know, and until they reach the point where it's like, hey, I'm trans then you're fine, but it's hard for people to get to that point. A couple of days into the school year, it's getting a little bit better, I'm getting used to it. I have no friends really, actually I had no friends. Anyways, I was walking through the halls and I saw one of my old, old friends. She used to be friends with me a very long time ago and she comes up to me and I'm like, oh fuck. I'm just trying to get to my class, you know? I'm just trying to get to my class, don't want anyone to see me. And she's like, hey, do you know birth name she said my name i was like oh, i felt everything in me just drop i just didn't know what to say i was like no and she goes you look just like her it's really weird you guys aren't like cousins or anything i was like i felt like i was gonna throw up i was like no and that's not the worst thing that happened to me in school no there's not a couple of people asked me the same question and i did the same thing not too long after that we have gym class and guess what? There's boys and girls locker rooms. And that made me very uncomfortable, having to change in the same place as all a bunch of dudes, and they don't really care about taking their shirt off or their pants off, and well, I do, because I'm trans. I, I had a binder on at the time. That's not what guys wear, so. If you don't know what a binder is, it's something to bind down your chest for trans guys when you don't have surgery. And I waited for everyone to leave until I changed. So I did, and then it was okay. And then I went out, played gym, we had gym class. At the end of gym class, everyone was on the bleachers. And I was sitting down against the wall of the gym because I had no friends and I just, I was always the quiet kid, still am. And then everyone was whispering about me. It was no doubt that they were talking about me because they were looking at me and whispering. What else could that mean? So I, I got up and I was really upset and I left the gym and I went to the guidance counselor's office and you know, they were okay. That's not what made me quit this school. That's not what made me quit. I'll tell you what made me quit though. I'm pretty sure this was my last day of high school. 
which was two weeks. I only stayed in that high school for two weeks. That's as much as my mentality could take at that terrible school. What happened was I was in Spanish class and you know how teachers take attendance and they have like the projector thing that goes up on the screen or whatever? Well, she was taking attendance. All the pictures were on the screen in front of the whole class on the projector. And I was like, oh, I wonder what my new photo looks like. You know, the one that they took to replace the old one of me as a girl. Well, I looked up at the screen and there's a picture of me as a girl on the screen in front of the entire class with my name under it. That was just fucking great. The teacher was calling off everyone's names and stuff like that. And I just saw the girl picture with my name underneath it. And I was like, I felt numb. I felt sick. I felt embarrassed. I was like, oh my God. What happened was I started texting my mom. I was like, there's a picture of me as a girl on the screen. There's a picture of me. <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh my God, I have to leave. I'm gonna leave. And then the teacher was like, oh, the projector's on, whoops. So she turns it off and then I felt so great, but she still said my name with the girl picture. It was fucking terrible. And after that day, I just never went back to that school because you know what? Fuck that school. After that, I got homeschooled for a while because I just really couldn't deal with it. It was really crazy and all that stuff, but. Eventually for the ending of 11th grade and 12th grade, I found a school that was amazing. Like they're probably the best high school I've ever been to. They were accommodating to everything. They never made mistakes. And if they even did make the tiniest mistake, they would correct themselves. And like, I love that school so much. It was just process before was just terrible. There's probably a million more things to that story, but I obviously can't tell the whole thing or the video would be an hour long. But my transition process was not easy. I know a lot of people might think it was easy, but it really, it wasn't easy in the beginning. It's easy now. I love you guys. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and I will see you next week.